What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Metro 2033 Redux. My name is Splattercat, I'm happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while and I want my knife back. I think it was this guy over here that I jacked, but it looks like he fell on my knife maybe? I don't know, not only did he fall on my knife, he was struck by my knife. And it's unfortunate, because I don't think we're going to get that back either. Oh no, we got it back. There it is. It's already in our inventory. Good. Well then, did we get everything from down in here, you gentlemen? We get all your loot? Everything all taken care of? This is what you get for being bandits, by the way. I just want to point out, you brought this on yourself. That facial expression right there. Alright, anyway, let's continue forward. That was my vocalization of what his expression said to me in sort of artistic form. What is this? That's not what I wanted either. Don't do that. I was trying to activate a thingy. There we go. Alright, so I think we have a key for this. Yeah, we do. That was the key that we picked up. Ooh, a couple more extra little bits and bobs in there that we could take control of. Those things look like they're getting out of order. Like, they start out as mushrooms and they turn out as, like, radioactive eggplants. A little bit terrifying. Who knows what'll happen if you leave them sitting there for another couple weeks. Let's go. Ooh, I'm gonna give you a couple. I didn't realize there's gonna be a few more enemies. Alright. We're fighting through cover right now. I don't know if I got that guy. I'm going to stand behind Bourbon because he's bulletproof. He is protected by the storyline. We good? I hope we're good because we just murdered a lot of people. Like, this was a big day out for us. Anything hidden in here? I'll help him with the door in just a second. Let me turn my flashlight back on. Grab that. What? is going on over here. Got that thunder thrust going on, that hyper shit. That's what makes him popular back at the station right there. Oh, he's added energy. It's kind of like an energizer battery. It's got to run out eventually. Nothing back in here? I kind of felt like there should be something back in here. A little bit disappointed by the fact that there isn't. Oh, well. Am I reloaded? I am reloaded. Awesome. The bridge is a nasty place, so here's the plan. I'll keep you covered and you watch my back. If we work together, we'll make it. But don't delay here. I don't think, is anybody ever in the mood to get killed today? Is that where you just go out in the morning just ready to get your head broken in? That seems like, eh, it's not a, that's an unhealthy mind state, I think. Ew. Thank you for the ammo. I appreciate your sacrifice, man with grenade shirt. His shirt looks like the surface of a pineapple grenade. I don't know. The hell? See, you're telling me not to run into traps, and then you run into them. Gonna practice what you preach, my friend. Gonna be up in that soapbox. The fall is gonna be from awfully high. What's up, other dead guy? You wanna give me some stuff? Ooh, a filter. Yeah, okay. I used to have a boss that would cut the filters off his cigarettes. Like, he would, I would be like, well, then why don't you just buy Black and Miles or something like that? My boss used to smoke like a chimney. And in the back, like, I'm, not, I'm sorry, not in the bathroom. In the back office, like the little area where... Now oh, hell. Well, anyways, in the little back office area where we would hang out for our lunch breaks and whatnot. Is that necessary? You know, we could just be quiet and pretend like we hadn't been seen yet, but anyways. There used to be this big coffee mug. Full of all of his random fill. Oh my god. Hey, what's up, pal? You don't want to do this. Does meleeing? Oh, it does work. Good. Okay, well, I gotta use a med kit real fast, otherwise bad things are gonna happen to me. Let me get a real gun out real fast. I got you covered, amigo. Sort of. I mean, I've only got two bullets. It's not a big cover, but it is one that I think will be kind of effective. Wow, they can take a blast to the face, and they just do not go down. That's gonna be quoted down below. It's gonna be like, they can take a blast to the face. Splattercat 2015. I know it's gonna. You start to get used to the comments that you accrue over time when you play games like this. After you do it for a couple years, you'll see what I mean. You'll see what I mean, sneaky kids. The hell made that noise? A big daddy down here? My god. I hear movement. And not of the Mozart sort. It is non-musical. You better reload faster. How come your shotgun has like a hundred bullets? Really? Completely? I think you would have stocked up a little bit better. So he's cutting back this way, which means I'm going to go this way and see what treasure there is available. 
Something's beeping at me right now. I think that's where we came from. Never mind. No need to retread the past that we have already followed. Looks like I might be able to get up in here, though. Yeah, buddy. This smells like treasured and spiders to me. Yeah. Get out of here, arachnids. Can they bite me? Is that something I have to worry about? Ooh. Very, very nice. Okay, so we got some more grenades. Those might be helpful, so I'm going to consider using those. We tested out in the last fight. We got to use our melee, and I found that it was not as efficient as I expected. And so we're probably going to stay away from that from here on out. Uh. All right. Seems unnecessary, but hey, it was fun for a minute. Sure. Giving him a good squeak. So what you're saying is I should turn off my flashlight. That's what you're hinting towards. Or maybe that I should be the guy with the knife. Are you serious right now? You want me to jump off of this? Oh, hell. Come on, man. How come I'm always the one... Oh, I'm so glad I didn't jump off of that. Oh, that would have been such a misdirection. That would have been really, really bad. The operation would have failed. I mean, we could have gotten to a fight with the Nazis already. I'm always up for a fight with a Nazi. Video games did raise me, obviously. It's got full battery on the flashlight. Oh, hell. Yep, gotta get rid of- ow, 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 ow. There's so much more spry than I expected. All right, use another med kit. Bam! Gotta love those needles that make you all nice and healed. It's amazing they can cram that many chemicals into one needle to make me feel better. Just be like, ah, one stab and everything is fixed. Broken face, fixed. Broken leg, fixed. Broken heart, not fixed. Unfortunately, that is where the med kit's usefulness runs out. No, no. God, this is the most like dangerous adventure ever. Do you normally do this? Just recruit random people to go almost die with? Wow, that was some ride. This is why I could never be an adventurer, because these are the things that I think the entire time. Like, we are making some serious mistakes right now. Like, how about don't stand on the thing that's probably going to fall over and kill us all? God. All right, up the stairs we go. I guess you could say that when it comes to bourbon, I'm falling for him. I mean, eh. I guess. Maybe. We got 150 bucks right now. I don't tend to use the good ammo unless I'm in big, big, big trouble. So this entire playthrough, we may not use the pristine ammo for much. The surplus ammo's... I gave him shit. And the staircase. How convenient. Seems to me we're being lured in. Fuck it. Let's go. That's the right attitude. Done a pretty good job at killing everything that's come at us so far. What's the worst that could happen? This. This is the worst that could happen. You better run faster, son. You better figure it out. Let's give this one more try, shall we? I don't know what it is about those Nozaluses or whatever the hell they are, but my god, they take so many hits to go down. It takes like dozens of shots just to drop the little bastards. I don't know if sticking with the 45 is the better plan for right now. He seems to do okay. He's coming straight at us. Let me see if I can get a couple rounds on him. Staying the hell away from Bourbon is also a decent plan. Yeah, I think the 545 is a bad prospect. Let's just not use that anymore. The 545 is not getting it done. Let's knock that staircase down and we'll go down to the bottom. I don't know. I've been really disappointed with the 545 so far. It just does not deal the damage that I need it to. And so I think we'll probably just avoid using it. Maybe sell it when we get to the next station for something a little bit more useful. The 45, on the other hand, as long as you can make the shots connect, seems to do really, really considerable damage. Do I still need a gas mask, by the way? I don't need a gas mask anymore. I'm just wasting my filter. Great. Just what I had wondered. All right, well, let's continue forward then in our filterless and shabby self. 
Any treasure around here? Anybody want to give me some goodies? Ah, give them on up to Artyom. Just the asses. Get all of us out of here, please. So I'm searching. That was mildly concerning, but whatever. Free knife? Yeah! Who wouldn't mind a few hallucinations for a free knife? A little bit of cash right there. Actually, a lot. <laughs> I don't think you need a gut feeling to realize that this place is a really bad plan. Nothing, man. You started freaking out. I was looting some dead bodies, just taking stuff off the dead because that's always a good prospect. That obviously won't have any karmic backlash. Like there might be something good over here. What it is, I don't know, but I'm gonna try for it. The jump sees easy enough. Oh, I need a gas mask. Hold on. Ah, gas mask accomplished. I don't know what I just picked up, but it seems like it might be. Does this fall off right here? It seems like it might. Oh my god. Alright, that was a little bit disturbing. No idea what I just got off of that guy. I couldn't really tell. I think it's a key or something. But we got it now, so we should be able to advance a little bit further. How come we don't have badass futuristic armor? Like, shouldn't we be looting some of this off these guys? Like, he's got a really cool helmet. Why is my head just completely and totally unprotected? I like my brains. I like being able to think. I really don't want to suffer any serious damage to my cognitive faculties. I'd rather avoid it anyways. I don't know. Anything to say? Or are we just going to kind of like walk slowly through the darkness? Walk slowly through the darkness it is. Oh, I remember this part. And here is the market. Stay calm. Uncle Gorwell will get us in. Hey, people! Open up! Don't let your two-legged brethren die a foolish death! Why is your leg twitching all weird, man? I'm gonna use the 545 even though I know I'm gonna regret it. Oh good, they come from behind us too. Hooray! Unload on the little bastards. Maybe the shotgun's the better prospect. I don't know. Anything that kills him in a couple hits makes me happy. 
Come on, open that damn door. You know, take your sweet ass time if you want. I don't know if somebody wants to like back me up right here. Maybe make this a little bit easier on me. You know, you guys could shoot or do whatever it is that you're supposed to be doing on guard duty. Put a round into you. I need to be away from you. Let me get a make hit here. Oh my god, they just keep coming, don't they? I think I got that one. That one's looking kind of dead too. Woo! Hey, yo, show your friends. Do as he says. These guys have no sense of humor. Are my eyes playing tricks? Burn that old friend, is that you? And I've given up hope of ever seeing you alive again. Simon, look who the snout scared up. God damn it. We stepped in the ship now. Hey, Mikhailovich, what a coincidence. I was just coming to visit you. You hear that, boys? Set up the good dishes. Bourbons come to visit. Nah, don't go running off, Bourbon. We've got to get a job to me. Then we'll get back to you. Remember where you should wait for me? I do. You sure? I can help you, remember? You get me right. Absolutely. <laughs> that exchange seemed vaguely threatening. It seemed a little hostile. I mean, I definitely don't think it was actually the friendly exchange that it sounded like. Mm -hmm. Go up to the top through here. Ah, a dead guy with a little thingy over here. Yes, please. I just used up a bunch of shotgun shells, so I would love to absolve you of yours. How do I know that I needed? I think you need a new filter when it starts fogging up or something like that. I don't. I vaguely remember there was some mechanic that I needed to place here, but now, ah, well, what are you gonna do? Up we go. There definitely seem to be certain weapons that are just not even worth like remotely. So I don't suppose you want to go like back up the ladder, right? Great. And let me guess, this one over here is busted as well. Yep, that ladder's busted. So how come you're not attaching to this one? You want to do that for me, huh? There we go. I don't know. This game's still a little bit buggy. It can be odd sometimes. Ladder didn't want to work that last time. Like, sometimes I've noticed a couple things in playing the games the last few times that I've played. How come I won't reload right now either? Because I'm in, like, peace mode. Either way, sometimes reloading is weird. Sometimes health kits are weird. It can be odd. I'd never seen a market like this. You could buy almost anything. But Bourbon owed money to the Hansa sentries and was anxious to leave. I like the jam session we're having right now. Monster your weapons at once. Who are you? Come into the light. Slowly, slowly. I'll be them. Bourbon. Hey guys, we'd better search these two. <laughs> so, you all drunk. What are you getting this time around? Who is the boy? Look here, boss. I'm sure we can work this out. Sure? Let's go and chat a little. And you keep an eye on this one, huh? Don't move! Like, not at all? Or can I, like, turn my head? You guys seem kind of jumpy and your balaclava masks intimidate me, so I'm just gonna do what you say. Stare at the floor. Well, hold on. I want to touch this note real fast. All right, calm down, Turbo. Okay, these two may pass. Welcome to the market. Let's move our asses. Or would you like to enjoy their company a little more? Hey, what's your tone? There's one thing I enjoy. It's gluteal movement. Let's grab that new note just for the collectibles and continue. Keep go go. These guys keep threatening me with their eyes. It's like undressing me with their eyes, but with guns. Go. We're in deep shit. No way I can pay back those railcar guys. <laughs> we'll be lucky if they let us shovel shit for the rest of our days. But did you see it? No. It could have been an enemy scout. Now it knows what our defenses are. They'll overrun us, then butcher the entire station, just like Polis. The next thing that comes down that tunnel, I don't care. And yet, you still brought us here. Ah, there it is. I was gonna say, it was glitching through the wall right there where you could actually loot through the... 
You could loot through the wall, but unfortunately I was having trouble locking down where the bullet actually was, and I wanted to know for future reference. I've played this game a lot of times, like I really do like it. It's weird how bad I am at it, even though I've played it so many times, but you know. Sometimes you gotta investigate and figure out... Did we have the key to this one? No, we did not. Can I turn on my flashlight? I wish you could turn on your flashlight when you're in like peaceful areas. Anything else up in here? Some pack packs. Obviously, living like a thief doesn't seem to work out for the NPCs, but it works out pretty well for me. Well, we can't go to Hansa. So look. Oh, here's some cartridges. Go get a couple filters, will ya? I have an idea. I'll go have a talk with a certain someone. We could either meet at the local bar or I can find you elsewhere. Well, off you go. You have around five minutes. Okay. What is up with everybody in bleeding inside of all of these faucets? God, you guys spend a lot of time bleeding. You know the point of life is to spend time not doing that right. Like, just avoiding it to the utmost co- Oh, there's one right there. They're everywhere if you look around. I'm telling you, you can actually be really, really wealthy in this game if you just, like, pay attention and look around for random cartridges. It'll help, too. Like, it might seem stupid going after these little single cartridges all over the place, but if you pick up 10, 15 of them, that's an extra reload on your rifle. And so scrounge as much as you can, or it's an extra round that you get to fire at the enemy. It's Moscow, market underground station. I wonder if this goes over... What's over here? I thought I saw some... No, never mind. Let's go back. We got the key, which I bet opens up... This thing right here. Yep, there it is. And so now that we got the safe open. Ooh, plus 24 pristine rounds. Hell yeah. All right, so now that we got some more military grade cartridges. Can I go through here? Or am I not allowed? Take this thing out for a spin? No, it won't let me. Well, it'll let me spin it, but it won't let me do anything else. What have you got? Nothing? Well, then you mean nothing to me. Walk away, you and your amazing hat. What does this guy have? Nothing. Alright, we'll deal with the boss in a minute. Anything in the bar that I can loot? There we go, another one round. Always look around in little locations where people light of, they may have left themselves like random tips for people or something like that. I don't know. You can find them on tables all over the place. Now we need to find the store. So... Ah, there we go. This looks like it's it. They're always better lit than everywhere else. That's how I know the stores in this game. That guy's got a fungus stand. Is the fungus market good right now? I bet it is. What does this guy have? Nothing. Guitars, along with some other stringed instruments, just in case you wanted to reinvigorate the Russian Philharmonic. But eh, we'll save that for later. I don't think I can get in there. What about you? Nothing. Damn, son. Alright, well... We got the bullet exchange over here, and so I think inside the bullet exchange, actually this is probably a really good spot to break off the episode. My name is Splattercat, thank you for joining me here at the Nerdcastle for the next episode of Metro 2033 Redux. I will see you all later. Hi do everybody.